Ground hopping, a brand new series on my channel, going up and down the country to find the best and worst grounds in English football. I'm going to be completely neutral and going on my own. At the end of each episode, I'm going to be giving every single club a ranking out of 10. So if you enjoy the video and want to see more on this channel, then don't forget to like and subscribe. This week, we're at Priestfield Stadium in Gillingham, notorious for having a dodgy away end. Today, they're playing Hartlepool United in a bottom of the table clash. So let's get down there and see what Priestfield is all about. So I'm here in Gillingham and apparently this is one of the worst away days in English football. It's absolutely freezing, so I don't know how I'm going to get on in the terrace. I'm dreading it. There she is. Look at that beaut. I tell you what, it doesn't look bad from the outside. Oh, mate. I'm going to freeze up there. I'm a firm believer that if you go looking for a bad experience, you're going to find it. I've always wanted to do Gillingham. I've only ever heard negative things. So going into this, I always felt like Gillingham got a bad rap when it came to their stadium. Obviously, that stand isn't the best and probably would have been freezing if we had been on there. But luckily, I had a roof over my head and so did the Hartlepool fans. So happy days for all. So far, Gillingham's not a bad place. The fans are nice outside. Got chatting to a few of them. So just to put into perspective, how big this game is. Both teams were in the bottom two of League Two and both on course to get relegated to non-league. Anyway, into the game. <laughs> Come on, <the> boy. <laughs> Other than a few odd chances, not an awful lot happened in the first half. And as you can probably imagine, both teams being where they are, the football was pretty sloppy as well. The Gillingham fans were fantastic. To have so many there when you're that far down the league is incredible. <laughs> As it stands, both teams in the bottom two. <laughs> Jamie Tart put Gillingham 1-0 up in the first half and that was the only real action of the first half. <laughs> So at half time I had a real look around the stadium and it's massively underappreciated. And for a League 2 ground that could soon be a non-league ground, it was actually really nice. Anyway, into the second half. Second half, come on that ball. Upon reflection, yeah, he was offside. So a full time, Hartlepool United were left wondering what could have been, but it was a great day out. Gillingham fans were incredible, and I'm gonna give them a firm six. Yes, it's not a massive number, and that's mainly due to the atmosphere in the first half. It was a little bit dead. Big shout out to the Hartlepool fans as well. They were incredible as always. And in terms of travel, Gillingham is literally an hour away from London, and then it's only a 10 minute walk to the stadium from there. So I'm giving it a firm eight for travel. Easy to get to, and there's no threat of any danger either. And on reflection, I've been a bit harsh with the stadium. I've given it a three out of 10, but I went into this expecting to give it a one. So Fair play, Gillingham. You absolutely smashed my expectations. Thank you for watching. This is a brand new type of video for me. This is a series I've wanted to do for a while. So if you do enjoy it, please do subscribe and like the video. And drop me a comment of where I should go next. In the meantime, check out these other videos. And I'll see you later. Bye.